lot of individuals are confused on um, just full fat versus no fat, uh, whether it's dairy, Usually dairy is the first one that comes to mind, but um, let's look at Greek yogurt and this will give you kind of a good metric. So which Greek yogurt is best for overall health? Um, full fat versus no fat. Now, the first thing I want to kind of ask you, just generally speaking, is what is your goal? And this is gonna help us define which one might be better for you. Are you trying to lose some weight? Are you trying to gain some weight? Are you trying to perform at the highest capability? Are you like a high level athlete or trying to become a high level recreational athlete? Or are you somebody who just wants to be a little bit healthier? Knowing this will really be able to guide you towards if you should be eating stuff that has full fat or uh, potentially uh, reduced fat or low fat, no fat, right? So the case for no fat and eating no fat uh, Greek yogurt in this example is that it of course has less calories than full fat. So if you are somebody who is trying to monitor your overall weight, as in either maintain your weight or lose weight, you would probably be better off sticking to no fat uh, Greek yogurt. Um, and this is simply because there's less calories and if you're consuming less calories per day than you need to maintain your weight, you're going to, of course, either maintain or lose some weight. That's kind of the idea. There is some issues though with no fat um, Greek yogurt. Since there is no actual fat content, you might get a little bit hungrier, a little bit quicker when you are eating no fat Greek yogurt. And this is simply because the more macronutrients are in a specific food, the longer it takes to digest and go through your GI system. So essentially, um, if it's just protein and carbs, which is what would be in no fat Greek yogurt, that's gonna go through your body much quicker as in if there was a little bit of fat, a little bit of carbs, and a little bit of protein. All those together take longer to digest. So you might get a little bit hungrier quicker. Um, I don't know this, this for myself personally, but it is something to consider. Uh, another common complaint is that it costs a little bit more. Um, taking some of the fat out of the Greek yogurt adds a little bit of processing to it, extra processing. So because of this, the more processed it is, um, the more it will cost, of course. It doesn't taste as good. I'm sure you've had some broccoli uh, without any butter, right? And butter is essentially fat. And that doesn't taste nearly as good as broccoli with butter, which is of course fat again. Um, so this is the same concept with Greek yogurt. That fat gives it a little bit more richness, makes it a little bit more creamy, and makes it taste a little better. So uh, with this said, no fat Greek yogurt is still pretty dang good. You won't find a huge difference, but there is a tiny smidgen of a difference, especially if you're somebody who uh, used to only eat full fat Greek yogurt and you are now trying no fat Greek yogurt, you're probably gonna notice a little bit of change, but just give it time, your taste buds will change pretty, pretty quickly on that. Uh, the last thing is it's not really as accessible. So what I mean by this is that when you are out and about at a gas station, for example, you're out of town, or maybe you are eating breakfast at a hotel because um, you're on vacation, the chances of there being no fat Greek yogurt is very, very slim versus the chances of there being full fat Greek yogurt is very, very high. So not as many people are on board to having that uh, no fat Greek yogurt just because again, it doesn't really taste as good. It is a little bit more expensive. So when you're out and about, it might not be easily accessible for you um, compared to that full fat. So just another thing to consider. But on the flip side, full fat Greek yogurt has more calories. So if you are somebody who is trying to gain some weight, uh, maybe you're trying to recover a little bit better from your workouts. Uh, maybe you're just underweight and you're skinny and you're trying to get up to a healthy weight. This could be a great option to get some extra calories in to uh, get you some extra protein, of course, on top of that. And of course, hopefully you're building some muscle too. So that's all going to help you get to that healthy weight. But the full fat has more calories and just on the exact opposite of the no fat, more calories means more chances of gaining weight. The issue with full fat though, and if you're considering um, health as one of your reasons for eating um, basically Greek yogurt period, saturated fat is prevalent in about half of the fat calories in Greek yogurt. 
and saturated fat increases LDL in the body. And when LDL levels are high, it's your LDL cholesterol, the chances of um, heart disease increases greatly and lots of other comorbidities involved with heart disease. So uh, the, I believe it's the American Heart Association recommends about 5% or less of your daily calories come from saturated fat and that's not a lot of fat at all. And this is saturated fat. This is a saturated fat. This is found usually typically in animal products. So um, this might be a case where if you're eating full fat, but you still want to get some fat in, you could try to lean towards maybe a lower fat example. Again, it's all going to kind of play on what your current goals are. I think weight gain and weight loss is probably the easiest one to look at. If you're trying to gain some weight, I would maybe add in some full fat or lower fat. And of course, if you're trying to lose some weight, no fat is probably the way to go for you.